The nickname uh, Yamato Damashi. That I didn't realize that was that was kind of given to you from the from the Japanese media, right? I thought that was yes. something you came up with originally. No, um, I would. That, I didn't even know what it meant when they, they started calling me that. So one of the reporters, um, when he interviewed me, he told me that you you're Yamato Damashi. When you fight and when you talk, the words that come out of your mouth is Yamato Damashi. So I was like, oh, cool. I was like, ah, you know, I don't know what that means. But he said Japanese spirit. I was like, oh, Japanese spirit. You know, it's not defined accurately when you just say Japanese spirit. Because you look at the Japanese today, there's some, there's a bunch of pussy sometimes, yeah? <laughs> the young kids, you know, there's some of the young kids right now. It's like, Japanese spirit is shitty, you know? So... <sighs> For me, I thought, oh, you know, I wasn't really attached to it as much. But when I went to the UFC, I, I felt a little bit of pride of training in Japan and starting my career in Japan. So the reason why I made the Jamato Damashi shirts wasn't for business. It was because I felt that, oh, what, a, what better way to tell these people that I, I'm representing Japan by wearing a Japan shirt with kanji on it. Yeah. So I actually went and uh, looked up all different kanji, Ichiban, Kamikaze, you know, I looked all the kanji up, and for some reason, Yamato Damashi just, you know, on a shirt, instead of having two kanjis or one kanji, Ichiban is cool, but there's that one line, it's kind of, you know, as a foreigner, it's like, that's a shitty, boring kanji. <laughs> but for some reason, Yamato Damashi, right across the chest, three big, big kanji words right across the chest, for me, was like, pretty crazy, man, like, whoa, that looks cool. So I kind of thought, wow, that would be cool to wear in the ring. And I didn't expect to make it. Um, Egan is the one who actually made the first shirt. He went and went ahead, called his friends, printed out the shirts, and brought it up to to my fight in uh, UFC 13. Oh, wow. And, yeah, so we wore the shirts. The first reaction I got from the Japanese is, <clears throat> Yamato Damashi. So what it means is not just the Japanese spirit. As you living in Japan, you probably know that long ago, Japan wasn't called Nihon. It was called Yamato. Mm. And we're talking like samurai era, the Jido, the, the Edo Jidai. We're talking long ago in the samurai days, they used to call it Yamato. So the reason why that word came about was because when the Americans beat the Japanese, they put all these sanctions on the Japanese where they couldn't fight out of their country they couldn't do this they couldn't do that they couldn't marijuana became illegal because of americans and then it's like from there it was like there's this group the uyoku the right wingers they refused to give into america so they created this yamato damashi japanese spirit never dying so that word came about in the in the in the edo era where they're they're like saying that this then we never give up we're the yamato the japanese spirit so mm. it was actually brought up back in that day and it was it was actually associated with you know uyoku and yakuza and that kind of stuff so my first reaction that i got when i brought those shirts was even one of my fighters asahi noboru asahi one of the fighters mm -hmm. in uh shuto one of the lightweight champs i think he was like hazukashi i cannot wear this is i'm embarrassed to wear this shirt I would proudly wear the shirt in, in, in Shibuya and I, I have tons of uh, Japanese kids laughing. I can hear them whispering Yamato Damashi and laughing. Um, the word, nobody knew what the word was. And, you know, I just felt like, okay, from Japan, representing Japan. As they kept calling me that word, I started looking up, looking into the word. And that word is deep, man. That word is not just the spirit of the samurai. It's the spirit of the overall perfect person. You know, it's like compassion, integrity, you know, having doing right, you know, honor, loyalty. You know, I mean, when I when I figured out the when I learned the depth of the word, I I I almost even felt like, you know, I don't know even know if I'm I'm good enough to carry this word. But I mean, Yamato Damashi equals Ensidi Noe now. It's it's like become such embedded in, in in everyone's belief. So now what's happening now for me is, I feel like not instead of me being named after the word, I was given a word to guide me in my life to become something a a, a way of life. It's introduced to me a way of life. So instead of me saying yeah. 
I'm Yamato Damashi. I represent the word. No, 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 no. The word guides me. When things get hard, when I do the wrong things, when I, I lack integrity and compassion, that word is what helps me get back online and, and maybe rethink my choices that I've made. 